over 50 million workers in the United States earn less than $15 an hour. That is about one out of every three workers. How can we escape this low wage? Let's find out. Minimum wage jobs come in all categories from fast food workers, retail cashiers, and restaurant employees. I personally put in 18 months at a Burger King when I was 16 years old and I really couldn't find any other type of opportunities. I was making $5 an hour, making Whoppers, chicken sandwiches, chicken nuggets. Over 80 years ago, the minimum wage was created to protect workers during the Great Depression. And oftentimes, minimum wage jobs are jobs that teenagers get when they're still in high school, or maybe an elderly person might get during their retirement in order to keep busy, or maybe for some extra side income. But if you want a house or a family, it is next to impossible to actually be able to afford it while working a minimum wage job. At some point, you are going to need to be able to earn more money in order to have these things. The first way to escape is to try and get a sales job. With a sales job, your earning potential is pretty much unlimited. The more that you're able to close, the more that you're able to sell, the higher your salary will be. In my job currently, I have a salary limit. There's only so much that I can make every year, no matter how hard I work. But with a sales job, if you put in the extra time and effort, you can earn a lot more. The bad news is if you do not sell, oftentimes you do not earn. So a lot of these sales jobs, especially the entry ones, they will not have a salary. So if you're not selling anything, you will essentially get $0. But if you have good communication skills, if you're friendly, if you're extroverted and motivated, then you can potentially make a killing in this field. Okay, so let's take a look at a few of these sales jobs. First is auto sales. And we're basically talking about being on a car lot trying to sell cars, whether they're new or used, you're trying to sell these cars. This is one of the easier ones to get into. Oftentimes, this means you'll be on a car lot and you'll be put in rotation with other car salesmen. So maybe you'll only have customer interaction two or three times a day. And if those individuals aren't interested in buying, well, there goes your opportunity to earn a commission. So the best strategy if you're a car salesman is to try to get people to do business directly with you. So that means probably leveraging social media or friends and family. Next is real estate sales. You can become a realtor with no college. You will need a realtor license and the requirements change depending on what state you live in. But with commissions being between four and 6%, you can earn a lot of money selling houses, especially with the increase in house prices lately. Now you might not get the million dollar properties, but even selling a $300,000, $400,000 house will earn you a nice commission. Many realtors earn six figures and even seven figures in commissions. It's really gonna depend on who you're able to work with and in what area you're working in. Next is pharmaceutical sales. This is a higher paying sales job. In fact, the average salary is well over 100,000 a year. In this job, you will be persuading medical professionals and doctors to have better treatments for their patients or better equipment. This includes giving free samples and answering questions doctors may have. The next type of job is working for the state or federal government. There are many government jobs that do not require experience for you to start working in the government. And it's not just state and federal. Also look into your local, your city, your county government. A government job can start to build upon your experience and set you up for higher level opportunities while you're earning benefits. You're working towards a retirement. You're working towards a pension. You're getting insurance. Many people overlook government jobs because they don't think they'll be selected. There's, there's a lot of competition out for the government jobs. So people will just completely dismiss it altogether. But if you have the right strategy, if you stay consistent, you can get into one of these type of jobs. Run a Google search of your city or county and look through their job postings. The next type of job is the military. And I understand not everyone can or wants to join the military, but this is the way I broke free of minimum wage. I was 17 years old and I joined the army. And once I was there, the people I was surrounded with, these were people that were trying to escape their hometowns. They were looking for better opportunities and to feel like they're part of something greater than themselves. Now, the military can be a hard and unpleasant experience, 
but you will come out of the military with experience, with your college paid for, and with hiring preference from a lot of these companies and agencies. There was actually a $50,000 bonus to join the army this year. I didn't get any bonus when I got in. The next type of job is in the corrections field. This usually involves working for a jail or a prison. There are over 400,000 correction workers in the United States. To be a correction officer, a lot of times you don't even need a high school diploma. You can have a GED. You need to be at least 18 years old, make sure you have no felonies in your background, and in most places, in most states, the average salary for a corrections worker is about 50,000 a year. I have lived in several small towns, and one of the top ways people were escaping minimum wage in these tiny towns was to go to their local jail or prison or correction office center and they would apply there. They would start working there. And yeah, the job is dangerous, right? Every now and again you hear a horror story about an uh, inmate coming out and, and doing horrible things. So yeah, it's a dangerous job. But this is one of the ways where you can build up a different type of experience. The next type of job is working in the trades. This can be as a laborer or to an apprentice, to a carpenter, electrician, or plumber. This can start off at $18 an hour, $20 an hour, $25 an hour. And for some reason in this country recently, the trades have been stigmatized. People always wanna promote and talk about, you need to go to college, get your degree. But no one really talks about actually learning a trade. But working in the trades can unlock higher salaries and sometimes even higher salaries than the office jobs. Once you gain proficiency in the trades, it opens up doors for you. So let's say you start off as an apprentice and then a couple years after that, you actually become a full-blown plumber or a carpenter. And then a couple of years after that, you can actually start your own business. Whatever you decide, you need to escape minimum wage. Do not get too comfortable there. Do not grow too cynical. There is something better out there for you. Now, if you're watching and you want a better job, but you can't find the motivation, you can't find the motivation to get off the couch or get out of the bed to start applying and start networking, then I want you to watch this video next. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.